Today's story is called Two Rias and a Diamond Ring. And I'm not, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of a Rhea before, but it's the largest bird in South America. It's flightless. It's got tall, skinny legs like the emu and the ostrich. It's really not in the ostrich or the emu family, but it's a distant relative. Anyway, anyway, here's what happened. So my sister lives on Highway 6 in the bush near uh, Tobermory, Ontario. That's north of Owen Sound. It's north of Wyerton. And it's south a little bit of Tobermory. Anyway, so she lives in the bush, but she's right on the highway. And one day, uh, she decided that she wanted to get a couple of rias at the local market up there for pets. And so she bought two rias, and they were about the size of a, a rooster when they were babies. And she decided that uh, just behind her house, it's all bush there, but just behind her house, she had a little chicken coop and she had some chickens. So she decided to build a substantial fence around the chicken coop and big enough so that uh, these two little Rias could run around in there and get some exercise. Um, and she made the fence about six feet high. Well, they were cute little birds and they were very friendly and they liked to run around this open area inside the chicken coop fenced area. Um, and then uh, they started to uh, grow well. After about a year, maybe it was two years, these birds were really big. I mean, they were, their head was maybe eight feet off the ground. Um, they looked kind of like an ostrich. Um, anyway, um, and they were walking around in the fenced in area, you know, with the chickens, when all of a sudden an owl, a big owl, was flying overhead, licking its lips while it was looking at these chickens, and decided to dive bomb the chickens and get dinner. Well, the owl swooped down, and of course the two rias, quite big, remember? are standing there and they thought, what the heck is this bird doing? Is it coming after us? And they used their very powerful legs and they kicked the bird, knocked it on the ground, broke its wing. But in the meantime, they were so afraid, these two giant birds, these Rhea birds, that they jumped over the fence and ran out onto Highway 6, the busy highway. They went by the front of my sister's house. Well, wouldn't you know, there were a bunch of cars coming from Tobermory that had just gotten off the ferry boat called the Chichimon. And they were coming down the highway. The two big birds were standing in the middle of the road in shock. They didn't know where to run to. So all the cars stopped. One of them called the police and Maybe a half an hour later, a police cruiser came from the south up and stopped in the middle of the road. So we got the p police cruiser parked in the middle of the highway, the two big Rhea birds standing there, and all the cars from the Chichimon honking their horns and getting really upset because there was only one road and this was the road and it was blocked. So the police officer went and got my sister and she came out and chased the two Rias into the bush on her side of the highway. And everybody was happy. The, the police thanked her. He left. All the cars went away back, back down the highway. And my sister managed to get the two Rias back into the caged area where the chicken coop was. <laughs> well, that's when she noticed the owl with the broken wing. So she called the University of Guelph, which is about three and a half hours from where my sister lives, south. And they said to her, if you bring the bird, 
in, we'll fix it for free. So she thought, well, I'm not driving way down there. Well, I said, since I live in Cambridge, which is close to the University of Guelph, I'll take the bird. So I took the bird down, gave it to the people at the university, and off I went. In the meantime, about a week later, it was in the morning, my sister told me that there was a honking like a car honking noise at her front gate. And she went out of, got out of bed and went out there and it was a woman in a car, a stranger. And my sister said, well, what do you want? And she said, well, I don't, I'm sorry to bother you so early in the morning, but I was just up on the highway there where those Rias were. And I was looking for my husband, who was the police officer. I was looking for his diamond wedding ring because when he was trying to get that bird off the highway, somehow he dropped the ring off his finger. And she wanted to know whether my sister had found the ring. And my sister said, are you kidding me? Like this is a busy highway with cars zooming by it. Maybe one of them ran over it, but, and there's bush on both sides of the road. There's, you know, I'm the only one that lives here. Of course I, and the Rias, they don't eat diamond rings. So don't be ridiculous. But if I ever see it, if I'm wandering up the highway, I'll bring it to you. So the wife of the police officer left, my sister left, and I think another week went by. Now, the, uh, the birds were a little bit uh, not too friendly after that. And uh, my sister started to worry about them because, you know, they have such strong legs and big, sharp claws that if they got spooked in any way, they might just kick my sister. So she gave the two Rhea birds away. A year goes by. When all of a sudden, my sister was out in the chicken coop area collecting eggs when she looked up and there was the owl that had been saved by my sister and me. They took it to the University of Guelph. They fixed it, they let it go, and a year later, it was back circling over top of the delicious looking chickens below. And that's a true story.